Good morning, good morning. This is Elizabeth Griffin, your independent author from South Philadelphia, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please take a moment and do so, and definitely leave a comment below. All thumbs ups are appreciated, and you can share my videos with family, friends, and co-workers, and aspiring writers. So today I want to talk about pen names. Uh, I have three pen names, E.F. Griffin, Elizabeth Griffin, and Elizabeth Griffin Gore. Elizabeth Griffin Gore I used in the 90s, uh, and I used it for a young adult, and I haven't done anything under that, that pen name in a while. The other two names, Elizabeth Griffin and E.F. Griffin, are active. However, I've been focusing solely on my Elizabeth Griffin uh, pen name, which is popular in the U.S., and uh, at the moment, that uh, pen name is not really moving a lot of books. However, I'm noticing that my EF Griffin uh, pen name in the UK is doing extremely well. So because of that, I'm thinking, go where you are appreciated, meaning focus on that line that is producing and that line that is uh, creating sales and generating interest. So my advice is don't ignore your pen names. Don't ignore uh, which audience is appreciating you and definitely cater to that audience. So I haven't produced a book in under EF Griffin in over a year. And uh, the audience in the UK is still supporting me, but I'm thinking if I want to keep that support, if I want to keep that interest, I need to produce more titles under EF Griffin to um, appeal to that audience. So if you have several pen names, uh, Focus on all of them, produce under all of them because you don't know which ones will take off and which ones won't. And you won't know who will support you under these different uh, pen names. So if you created them, you created them for a reason. And if you created them for a reason, then, <clears throat> excuse me, don't give up on those pen names. So as I said, I noticed that for some reason, Cargo has been doing extremely well overseas and has been doing that. It's been doing that uh, for a long period of time. And what's ironical about Cargo is uh, when I decided to write it, I was um, reluctant because I thought nobody would be interested in human trafficking. And I also thought uh, it was written in such a simplistic way that um, nobody would appreciate it. However, I'm realizing you can write something in a simplistic um, manner with simple words. However, it's the delivery of those words. It's the combination of those words that um, can create a story that will draw people in. And so I am extremely surprised at Cargo and how well it's doing. And because of that, I've decided to, you know, focus on that overseas audience. Because just like in music, sometimes artists are appreciated overseas before they are truly appreciated in their own country. And I do appreciate the support that I get from the U.S. I do appreciate all the sales, and I've gotten many over the years, thousands and thousands over the years. So I'm not complaining about the U.S. audience. And there's always going to be a lull in sales, no matter where uh, who you're selling to or who you're catering to. However, if you look at all your options all your pen names. One pen name can be doing really well and you should focus on that um, and also continue to create on the, the other pen name. And the same thing could be applied to uh, avenues of, of sales or revenues of sales. And an example of that is audiobooks could be doing really well whereas your ebooks aren't. Or your paperbacks could be doing really well where your audio and your ebooks aren't. Or your YouTube channel could be doing really well and none of the others are. So my advice is to look at all the uh, your venues and all the ways that you're expressing your artistic ability and to uh, not neglect any of them because uh, at some point in time, I think they all will pay off. You just need to focus on all of your, uh, your venues. And as far as your pen names, uh, like I said, if you created the pen name, then uh, you did it for a reason and uh, don't give up on that pen name. Continue to produce and continue to grow that particular audience. So I will be producing more books under uh, E.F. Griffin. And if for those of you who may not uh, understand what that that uh, pen name is about, it's about writing uh, suspenseful uh, romance, interracial romance, uh, controversial um, top subjects uh, dealing with um, uh, different nationalities, different uh, um, theme, social themes, and also... Um, putting it all in an environment of of multicultural uh, uh, characters. 
So this is my take on pen names and why you should uh, always uh, keep them apt active and always produce under them and don't create too many pen names where it's, it's difficult to manage them all. So thank you for coming to my channel. Uh, support me as always. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Love, peace, joy, happiness. Bye-bye.